Let's go. Woo! It's a hard shower. Long, sharp claws. Woo! My name's Jack Randall, and I'm a zoologist. The carnivorous predator. I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go. These water pools are permanent resources for the animals living here. They know where they can get water. There's a particular species that spends all his time here, and that is a freshwater snake neck turtle, the animal I'm going to be looking for today. The strategy is I'm going to be walking very, very slowly along the edge of this pond. And right here, it's actually quite shallow, so I might be able to see any turtle that's peeking out of the water or actually submerge. But the problem is the turtles can stay submerged for many hours as they can absorb oxygen through their bums. So a bit of patience is required. And with that means chances to see other animals living around this lake. Woo this is a striped skink. Mouth opening up, he's ready to bite. Let's see what your chomp is like. Probably actually stronger than you think. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Ow! You can see those little teeth there. Those teeth are able to bite through invertebrate prey. And because they're lizards, they have eyelids, unlike snakes. And you see every now and again, this lizard is blinking. It's really quite cute. And those ear holes, really quite good at hearing. And of course, the other thing that makes him... Ow! There he goes. He's got those legs with five digits. So you've got quite short, stubby legs, but amazing how they're able to run much quicker than you can imagine. Well, I'm going to let go of this skink and we're going to keep hunting for our long snake neck turtle and any other critters around this pond. Look at that. We literally just released our striped skink and I just noticed a little bit of movement. That there is a praying mantis. Our little striped skink will be looking just for these because even though the praying mantis is also a predator. Happy hunting, Mr. Praying Mantis. Some time has passed and no turtle yet, so I'm sure one will have to come up for a big gulp of air soon. But not before another critter shows up to say hello first. Woo! Centipede! Ah, oh, wow! Woo! This is a scolopendra centipede. You can see at the front of that head two fangs and they puncture into their prey or any potential attacker. I tell you what, the venom of these scolopendras is really quite powerful. Woo! Amazing. All right, let's keep going. Happy hunting. With another lap around the edge of this water hole, sure enough, we caught a glimpse of what we were searching for. Turtle! Woo! We managed to get our snake neck turtle swimming in these shallows here. Otherwise, almost impossible to catch them. You can now see why they're called the snake neck turtle. They put their necks horizontally in that carapace. This is their shell. Look at that really hard carapace. Just like all tortoises, terrapins or turtles, they use that hard shell in order to protect them from predators. And out here, that isn't crocodiles, but there could be some large predatory fish that, especially when they're young, they would be vulnerable to predators. And also the birds. But this size, pretty much nothing will be eating them out here. They've got very long, sharp, claws which they're able to use to dig. They also lay their eggs on ground so they'll come out onto the ground and lay their eggs into a hole. What's interesting is that I'm calling this a turtle and in previous episodes I've been talking about terrapins in southern Africa, the marsh terrapin. I reckon that this one should actually be called a terrapin because this is a semi-aquatic chelonium which is the grouping of tortoises and terrapins and turtles and as I mentioned to distinguish non-scientifically between all of those we have semi-aquatic ones, the aquatic ones, and then the terrestrial ones. This one spends most of his time in freshwater ponds like this, but does migrate from one pond to another. And often when there's massive drought, this might dry out, and this freshwater turtle would be able to estivate, wait underground until the rains come and then it can flourish again. They're incredibly prehistoric. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this long neck turtle in the water again and hopefully we'll get some really good shots of that long neck coming out. Snake neck turtle, yes. Happy hunting. <laughs>